ISA-1 Digital, the classic Focusrite Mic Pre and simultaneous DI. Now with class leading stereo ADC as standard. JG Harding here again at NAB Las Vegas. Uh, I'm here with Wolfgang Frassino, who's the president of International uh, Marketing and Sales for Neumann Berlin. And he's going to uh, talk us through the new Neumann digital system. Year after year, since the last seven years, we have been developing digital microphones as a new addition for the world of studio microphones. And uh, the first microphone which we introduced was a large diaphragm called D01 microphone with 15 different polar patterns switchable instead of three or five like it is in the analog world. And over the last years, we have developed this system any further for different applications like smaller project studios. People know the TLM-103 from our analog product range and uh, we have now also created a dig digital version of the same microphone, the TLM-103, which is a fixed cardioid polar pattern and uh, is uh, well, suitable for any kind of application for radio announcers as well as uh, well, any kind of voice recordings. And uh, it's a microphone which is very well known from its analog brother, so to speak, and now we're having this digital version available. Uh, next to it, we also have, we introduced the first handheld vocal microphone and uh, the digital microphones can always be identified by their blue logos. Blue stands for Solution D, the Solution D digital microphone family. And uh, this uh, vocal microphone is just for stage use and uh, one of the famous users of our uh, wirebound analog handhelds is, for example, Brian Adams and a lot of people you know from uh, the stage like Nora Jones and others. And uh, for those people, we try to make their way easier into the world of digital microphone technology now. Another brand new product is the KMR81D, which is a, it's a small shotgun microphone and you always can identify the digital microphones by the blue LED, which shows the system is uh, in operation. And, um, for every application where you use these microphones in a combination, for example, when you pick up uh, the sound of an orchestra in a, in a big concert hall, uh, you mainly have these microphones in installed positions. And there we have a, this box here, which is called Digital Microphone Interface for eight channels. Therefore, it's called DMI-8. And this just converts the AES-42 signal, AES-42 is the standard for digital microphone technology released by the AES. Um, and this AES-42 signal is converted into an AES-EBU signal so that it can be handled by regular digital concerts which you find in the market every now and then. So this box is hidden somewhere in the studio where you have the 19 inch tracks and that's what you find among the musicians and instruments. Yeah, that's basically it. Then we have the so-called RCS, Remote Control Software, because when a customer buys a digital microphone, he gets an entire system. It is not the microphone itself. It is not just the microphone itself. It's the microphone, the DMI, the Digital Microphone Interface, converting the signal, plus um, the remote control software where you can control each channel on a screen. And the system already has a a uh, compressor limiter function already built in here. So especially for TV applications, this is very helpful that uh, you don't have any clipping problems anymore. On television, audio equipment is not necessarily always what people's desire is. And uh, here you just avoid getting problems when you have just a small console or something uh, with, uh, well, bad sound on television. And the more we see HD television uh, in the world, the more we have this requirement for a better sound pickup, and that's what we made, where we made this system. Um, you can have 15 different polar patterns switchable here. Um, you have a low-cut pre-attenuation and gain function integrated here. Gain means it's an acceleration of data because it's already ex happening in the digital domain. Um, so you set gain in 1 dB steps from 1 to 63 dB. So it's a very precise way to control your sound. And um, for example, like CTV in Canada, they used Solution D microphones very often during the recent Winter Olympics. 
and uh, they use the advantage that you can control these microphones wherever you use them in the different locations where the sport events take place and you can control every function, every feature in the microphone centralized from the headquarters of CTV, which was a way to avoid journalists to, well, use the wrong switcher or just make bad sound of it. That's a very, very comprehensive system. Do you have a, a set of prices yet, MAP prices for any of these products? Or? Well, I don't have a price list here because that's a part of our American distributor to do this. Right. Uh, but uh, it is not as expensive as people think it is. Um, for example, for the TLM-103, the digital version is about 10% more expensive than the analog version. So you get an idea. And uh, in addition to what you're seeing here, we also do have uh, miniature microphones, which you can hang down from the ceiling in a concert hall as a pickup microphone above uh, the orchestra or in the orchestra pit and so on. So, Meanwhile, it's a full family of digital products uh, for various applications. Excellent. Thanks very much, Wolfgang. Thank you very much.